Your visit to Snow Lab starts in the early morning at Creighton Mine, near Sudbury, Ontario. The surface building hosts offices, laboratories, and support services. It's here where you begin to gear up. The process starts in the dry, a name given to the shower and change rooms. It's here where you change into your clothes for underground, normally shorts and a t-shirt, as the temperature underground can easily reach the mid-30s. Over this outfit, you must wear a set of mining coveralls, waterproof safety boots, a hard hat, safety glasses, and a mining belt. All this gear is required to travel safely down into the mine. Everyone entering the mine must tag in so that there is a record on surface of who's underground at all times. The final piece of equipment you need before heading underground is a cap lamp. The battery pack attaches to the mining belt and the light attaches to the front of the hard hat. You join other Snow Lab staff to wait for the cage, the large elevator that brings people and materials to and from the surface. It's a tight squeeze as you descend 6,800 feet, over two kilometers, in just a few minutes. You experience 25 to 30 percent more air pressure at that depth, and the descent feels similar to flying in an airplane. Snow Lab is located at this depth to shield sensitive experiments from the cosmic radiation at the Earth's surface. Once arriving at the 6800 level, watch your step as you enter the drift. The drift is the main part of the mine. It's important to keep your cap lamp on and to watch your step during the two kilometer walk from the cage to snow lab. Snow lab is a clean lab, meaning dust and dirt must be kept to a bare minimum. Mine dust, in particular, can interfere with experiments if it gets into the lab area. For these reasons, strict cleanliness protocols are in place. Everything that enters the lab must be thoroughly cleaned. That includes people. The first step is to wash the mud and dust off your boots before entering the lab doors. As you step into the lab, you notice a temperature change immediately. The conditions in the lab are well regulated to keep a constant temperature and humidity. At this point, everyone must remove their hard hats and belts and hang them on the hooks along the wall. Remove your boots and safety glasses and place them on the shelves. Remember where you've placed your boots. The next step is to head to the underground dry. Upstairs for women, downstairs for men. There is a dirty side and a clean side to the dry, separated by showers. Anything that has been in the drift must remain on the dirty side. To ensure the lab stays as clean as possible, everyone showers to remove any remaining dust that may linger on skin or hair. You are provided with safety boots, a t-shirt, and clean room suit following your shower. These outfits remain underground and are washed in laundry facilities in the lab to eliminate the possibility of getting contaminated by mine dust in traveling to and from the surface. You also need to wear a hairnet, safety glasses, and hard hat in the lab. As you leave the dry and enter the lunchroom, everyone must tag in again to keep track of who is in the lab. The lunchroom is the heart of Snow Lab and also functions as the lab's refuge station. 
in case of an emergency, staff and visitors would congregate here. Scientists, staff, and visitors will spend eight hours underground, working on experiments, building the newest areas of the lab, and maintaining the facility. At the end of the day, you and the rest of the Snow Lab crew pack up and head back to surface. The Snow Lab crew will be back prepared to do the same thing all over again tomorrow.